and welcome back to the Dundee YouTube channel. I'm David OC and today we're taking a look at the Volkswagen ID4. It follows after the ID3 which launched in 2020, quite late in the year and still went on to be the fifth best-selling electric car overall. It was a very impressive car. If you'd like to see the review of that, you can hit the link up there. But this video is about the ID4. We're gonna take a quick run around it, show you some of the cool features it's got and also talk about the pricing, the range, all the usual things, the batteries, the main questions people ask. First and foremost, let's talk about pricing. Much like an engine, it depends which battery size you get. So the smaller battery will actually come in at about 36,000 euros, including your SEAI grant and the VRT rebate, which is very, very good value. And the bigger battery will of course cost upwards of about 46,000 euros. That leads us to batteries. So they're located here in the flooring to keep the center of gravity nice and low. And it will be available in two battery sizes, 52 kilowatts and 77 kilowatts. This is the 77 kilowatt version. It's also the first edition and the max. The max basically means it's got a lot nicer spec things like a panoramic sunroof and other nice features. Number three is range and charge time. So the range of a 52 kilowatt battery is about 348 kilometers. Now that is claimed and we all know in the real world in cold conditions, it will be a little bit less. The 77 kilowatt battery, that will do almost 550 kilometers, which is very, very impressive. In the real world, again, that's probably high 400, but it is very, very good and it's at a really nice price. In terms of charging, well, at home, it's gonna take over night to chargers. In the fast chargers, which are slowly creeping up with us here in Ireland, you will be able to get an 80% charge in about 30 minutes. Chances are, if you're interested in buying an ID3, then the boot practicality is very important. So this being the Max has the electric tailgate, which opens nice and smoothly. And you've got loads of nice creature comforts. You've got a false floor, storage down there for your charging cables, and it's a 540 liter boot. And if you fold down the rear seats, it goes to over 1500 liters. There's also one really cool feature. If I pull this, a tow bar pops out and you can tow your caravan. The ID4 has plenty of good rivals. There's the Ford Mustang Mach-E, the Skoda Enyaq, which everyone's talking about, and of course, the Nissan Ariya. For the ID range, Volkswagen have taken the minimalistic approach. So there's a big screen, there's very few buttons, no volume knob, and that's the way they're kind of moving. And actually they've taken it one step further here in the ID4. So if you put down the window, it's as simple as that, a normal switch. However, you're probably thinking, how do you put down the rear windows? Well, Volkswagen have been very clever and it operates on the same button. So you just click rear and the rears go down. Really, really impressive. The heads up display deserves a mention. And I find generally heads up displays are a little bit gimmicky and they just show your speed. However, here in the ID4, it has so much information. So when you put on your cruise control on the motorway, it will show you when you're getting too close to the car in front of you. It will also display when you're getting near the white lines. And it's just really sophisticated and I really like it. When it comes to driving the ID4, naturally it shares a lot of characteristics with the ID3. And the biggest one of those is that it's so quiet. Right now, we're at 100 kilometers an hour on the M50 and you can really just sit in complete silence. Now, let's talk about power. So if you put the foot down, there's plenty of pick up and go, and that's natural with any electric car. The 77 kilowatt battery, that has about 204 horsepower, which is a decent amount. And because it is electric, it feels, it feels a lot faster to be truthfully honest. The 52 kilowatt, that will only have about 130 odd horsepower. Being honest, if you're watching this now, I'd actually suggest, maybe if you're just doing small trips to get the 52 kilowatt, but getting a mid spec 77 kilowatt battery, it's gonna hold its value as in the future, I think they'll be a lot more desirable. You've also got the range and you've got the extra power. But anyway, back to driving, it feels fantastic. It's very smooth. The suspension, the dampening, it's 
honestly second to none. It's fantastic. So driving from the short amount of driving that I've done here today is very, very impressive. Well, there you have it. That is Dundee's first drive of the ID4. And we conclude this video from the comfort of the cabin. We've got the climate control set, the heated seats on, and we're escaping the cold and wet and miserable weather out there. Now my first impressions are it's really, really good. And that's the honest truth. Driving the ID3, when I first got into it, I was very impressed. And now getting into the ID4, you realize this is the future of Volkswagen and it's changed, but it's changed for the better. The whole layout in here, it grows on you to be completely honest. Now, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to subscribe. If you'd like to search Volkswagen's for sale in Ireland from our various trusted dealer network around the country, then hit the link up there. Look for a nice car and do let us know if you decide to get an ID4, what sort of spec, what battery size you're going for as we'd love to hear. But for now, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.